So, you thinking about investing in property? Well, hold on. With the market in turmoil, diving in headfirst could be disastrous. So, where do you need to invest and where should you avoid? All right, let's get into it. Okay then. So then, some talking the minefield today. The property market minefield. Mm. So, a lot of scaremongering going on. It Loads. seems like there's always scaremongering going on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you speak to someone who's maybe not very experienced or just thinking of getting into property, they'll tell you mortgage rates are sky high, yep. uh, prices are too expensive, they're at record highs also, and the rules for investors and landlords and constantly changing. Constantly changing. It's all a worry. Uh, the sky's going to fall in, etc., mm. etc. But uh, despite all this chaos, there are some real opportunities in the market. Mm. I regularly do this thing where you look at uh, newspaper headlines uh, over every, you know, whether it's uh, 5, 10, 15 years, about the property market and the way things are going to crash. Yeah. And uh, only when you get to back to I mean, in the 1920s, and only because you can hear the, the way the language is different all the way back then, can you tell the age. So people were saying <laughs> yeah. the kind of things that are being said in the newspapers now, in, in the 70s. 90s, in the yeah. 80s, in the 70s, it just goes on and on. So you need to tune out the noise and get focused yeah. on investing in the right areas in the right way. Right house, right say, area, right, you right need, everything. You need to re, you're going to invest in anything, you need to reduce your risk Correct. Uh, and you need to make a smart investment. So we're talking about property because that's what we do and what we know. Mm. Um, you need to really simply know your area. I've picked an area where you want to invest in and know it. Know it. Know the prices of everything, know the cost of any works that need to be done. So you need to be knowing your area or using a partner or a property sourcer or a company that does it for you that know the area and are based. Do you know any of those? Do you know yeah, maybe? Yeah, I know yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Um, so okay. where so, not to invest. So let's help you out. So let, yeah. where don't you invest? Let, let's rule so, some places out. This is our opinion. Out. You know, reply in the comments if you agree or disagree. Should we do the pause um, thing? Yeah, go on then. Let's go pause on. the video. Right, so what we're going to do? We're going to pause yeah. the video. You tell us and where you, tell you us should where you not will. invest. Correct. Ready? Right. So go. Pause it now. Unpaused it. So you've written a whole list of in the comment the places not to invest. Yeah. And now let's so see if we number agree. one for us is London. Mm. Yeah. So it's apparently been an investor's dream for years. Um, yes, there's been lots of capital growth in London if you bought at the right time. However, we just think now, overpriced in a lot of areas, stagnating, um, unless you get into some rents kind are of... Rents are un um, unaffordable, mm, you know. Rents are starting to peel back from the peak now. You know, um, it can't keep going up and up and up and up forever. Mm. So um, It's nice that it did what it did. That ripple effect will go over the, uh, the rest yeah. of the UK. Brilliant. Totally. But too risky for us Definitely. now. Finding a property that would, it, there's so much competition, yeah. the fundamentals just aren't there. Totally. So, so, London. London, mm -hmm. one. Yep. Uh, second one is, you know, you, you sort of pandemic boom towns where people are, you know, moving out of the big cities too during and after COVID. Places like, I don't know, tourist, tourist traps like Brighton, you know, Bath, East Anglia, yeah. Norwich, that, that around there. Yeah, all those. <clears throat> Kind of the rush is over on that now. A lot of people are thinking, oh, I want to get back to the yeah. sort of hustle and bustle. The, the, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the beacon for that <clears throat> is, and there's a report, the, the, this agent that specialise and the website specialises in sea, um, seaside towns. Yeah. Uh, so they're just, I think it's called Seaview, something, something, and they did a report and yeah, everything's retracting back. So anything that yeah. was um, attractive during that period is a, a coming back. Um, and so any any... That theme, you could apply it to anything, whether mm -hmm. it's a coastal town or a, yeah, yeah. a rural thing, True. whether it's you know, houses to flats maybe as well. You could even, I don't know, Definitely. that stretching a bit far. So the th and the third one, don't hate us north of the border, mm. Scotland. Scotland, so, so yeah. third, third place to avoid Scotland. Why? Yeah. So, um, well, there's unfriendly landlord regulation mm. there. There's a lot of always political uncertainty, it seems. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just trickier. It's trickier yeah. to do a deal, to buy a house. Mm. Um, so we, we would say Scotland is our third one. That, that, um, we, get, we get asked mm. a lot. Um, you know, we've even had people who live in Scotland who want to source properties with us. Oh, yeah, we've got clients, a few, few, clients, few yeah, yeah. clients. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, mm. the fundamentals look okay, don't they? When you look yeah. at it, you say, oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. And then when you look into it some more, 
it's just hard work. Hard work. And yeah. there are places where the numbers are just as good mm. and you haven't got all that hassle in between exactly. you and getting to the numbers. Which leads getting us into the next bit. So, th so, th so this is a bit. So where should you invest? So exactly. Go on, so what are, where are your hotspots, Adam? So a bit of background. We're always analysing data, looking for, you know, the next area. Um, we've settled on a handful of areas now where we source and renovate property. Can we um, dig into the background just for 30 seconds? Because we're actually quite good at this. In fact, yeah. You we're very good at this. Go on then, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We, we have done this for the last, oh God, is it ne nearly 20 years? We have predicted the last hotspots. Mm. So Northampton, we yeah, did. You were doing that. Nottingham and Derby, we did. Yeah. Um, we, we, we went north of Nottingham yeah. and in those areas. North And the areas we're going to talk Yorkshire. about now is yeah. where we are buying now. Yeah. And those other areas I mentioned... Northampton, Nottingham, Derby. It's become a bit too expensive. Aren't they it? have, but we have never, and I can still say it, and I've got some wood there, I don't know if I need to, but we have never bought a cheap house, and we say a cheap house, 50 to 75,000 pounds, that hasn't doubled in value in five years. Yeah. So we're looking for those hotspots. Yeah. And if you, if you can keep finding those. So I'm going to name three massive, places. Massive. They are Newcastle, Hull, Hull straight Grimsby, mm. and Stoke. Crew. They are the, are the places we're concentrating on. So when I say Newcastle, I don't mm. just mean Newcastle City Centre. In fact, in you, fact you, you don't mean Newcastle City Centre. I actually City don't. Center. I don't mean any of really of Yes. <laughs> you want point. to look at the surrounding areas. Yeah. So there's loads of regeneration and loads of investment going to all of these places. Um, don't just focus on the city centre. Don't think about buying flats and things like that. Mm. Look at the surrounding towns, the places where people live and commute into the city centre, where you can get the property cheaper. Mm -hmm. Um, but you still have strong rental demand and you've got the capital growth too. Yeah. Um, you mentioned flats, no flats. We, we generally do not buy flats. Don't like leaseholds, don't like being mm. beholden to a freeholder with service charges and ground rents. Uh, also the unpredictability of everybody else that walks through the front door. You know, if you've got an antisocial neighbour, can you do much about it? Yeah. And a freehold house, the fad for families is not going to go away. If you buy a two no, or three exactly. bed house, You've got so many different rental options. You know, single yeah. person can, a couple can, two sharers can, a small family can, a large family can. If they want to squeeze a couple of kids on a bunk bed, you know, it it mm -hmm. it rents out to more people. Totally. A flat, you've got a transient tenant. It's generally speaking, somebody who's going to stay there for a year or so. Yeah. City centre, yeah, totally. No, no. So totally. There, yeah. Are areas, there are three, there three are areas. There are three favourite areas right now. They are live and flashing bright red on our buy to let hot, hotspot map. Okay. However, even if you've settled on your area or you agree with us, you know, just knowing the area won't guarantee you success. You need to know how to crunch the numbers. You need to know how to price for renovation and compliance works. You need to know what the thing is going to rent for and be confident on it. Um, so if you want help doing that, there's a link in the description. You can book a call with me at a time that suits you and we can have a chat. I can explain what we do and how we help clients. Um, and we, we, are the, from there. we are the UK's number one property sourcer, Indeed. but importantly, we are also a letting agent. And as you get into the bottom of the conclusion of this, you might have found the right house in the right area at the right price. Everything is compliant and you've, you've mm -hmm. made some money on the purchase. You know, you, buy, you make money when you buy, yeah. but you need to manage it long term there to make go. the best of the gain. So you need a partner, you need a letting agent. Don't try and do it yourself. Um, be in touch with Adam All right. and talk about your options. Thanks. So yeah, like and subscribe, like remember. Like and subscribe. Yep. Thank you very much for watching and um, bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>